Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Noe. In this video, I'll be discussing limiting and excess reactant or limiting and excess reagent. So, make yourselves comfortably seated while watching this video lesson. Just a reminder, my dear learners, practice personal hygiene protocols at all times. After this video lesson, you are expected to determine the limiting reactant in a reaction and calculate the amount of product formed. With the following specific objectives such as, use stoichiometric calculation to determine excess and limiting reagents in a chemical reaction, and calculate theoretical yields of products formed in reactions that involve limiting reagents. There are two approaches by which a limiting and excess reagents may be identified. The first approach is to examine the amount of reactants available for the reaction and initially assumes one substance as the limiting reagent. The second approach, which I will be teaching you in this video lesson, requires calculating the reaction yield from each of the given amount of the reactants. In this case, We'll be using the factor label method or dimensional analysis as a process in calculating limiting and excess reagents. Here are the following simple steps in finding the limiting reagent by calculating and comparing the amount of product each reactant will produce. 1. Balance the chemical equation for the chemical reaction. 2. Convert the given information into moles. 3. Use stoichiometry for each individual reactant to find the mass of product produced. 4. The reactant that produces a lesser amount of product is the limiting reagent. 5. The reactant that produces a larger amount of product is the excess reagent. Number 6. To find the amount of remaining excess reactant, subtract the mass of excess reagent consumed from the total mass of excess reagent given. Consider the production of phosphorus trichloride or PCL3 and the balanced chemical equation is P4 plus 6 moles Cl2 yields 4 moles PCL3. If 25 grams of P4 with a molar mass of 124 gram per mole and 25 grams of Cl2 with a molar mass of 71 gram per mole are used in the reaction. A. Identify which is the limiting and excess reagent. B. Calculate the number of grams PCL3 that could be produced. C. Calculate the number of grams of the excess reagent that will remain. And letter D. If 27 grams of PCL3 is obtained, calculate the percent yield. Let us identify first the given quantities before doing some mathematical calculations. Mass P4 is equal to 25 grams. Mass Cl2 is equal to 25 grams. Actual yield PCl3 is equal to 27 grams. Molar mass P4 is equal to 124 gram per mole. And molar mass Cl2 is equal to 71 gram per mole. To determine the limiting and excess reagent, let's start by calculating reaction yield that is the amount of PCL3 produced with the reactant chlorine. First step is to convert given amount of chlorine which is 25 grams to number of moles using molar mass of chlorine as the conversion factor. 71 gram per mole means that for every 71 gram chlorine is equal to 1 mole chlorine. We must place 71 gram as the denominator and 1 mole as the numerator so we can cancel gram together leaving unit sought for which is moles of chlorine. Bear in mind that we have just used molar mass of chlorine as conversion factor. The next step is to get the mole ratio of reactant chlorine with the product PCL3 which can be found 
incorrectly balanced chemical equation, which is for every 6 mole chlorine, there is 4 mole PCl3. We must place 6 mole chlorine as the denominator or possibly to cancel mole chlorine. Now that we have the number of mole of product PCl3, we can now proceed to the final step which is to convert number of mole to mass or amount of the product PCl3. By using the molar mass of PCl3 as conversion factor, we can now cancel mole PCl3 by placing 1 mole PCl3 as the denominator and we get 32.16 gram as the amount of PCl3 from the reactant Cl2. In calculating the amount of PCl3 using reactant P4, we simply follow the same steps as we did using the reactant chlorine. So let's start with the given amount of the reactant P4 which is 25 gram multiplied by 1 mole P4 divided by 124 gram P4 multiplied by 4 mole PCl3 divided by 1 mole P4 multiplied by 137 gram PCl3 divided by 1 mole PCl3 will give you 110.48 gram PCl3. And we just have to cancel all the unwanted units. Therefore, the limiting reagent is Cl2 because Cl2 gives lower reaction yield or theoretical yield. And the excess reagent is P4. Let's proceed to letter B. Calculate the number of grams PCl3 that could be produced. The amount of product calculated from the complete reaction of the limiting reagent are called reaction yields. Since our limiting reagent is Cl2, therefore, the theoretical yield is equal to 32.16 gram of PCl3. In calculating the amount of excess reagent that will remain, we start by computing the amount reacted by P4 by converting limiting reagent to mole of limiting reagent. Then get the mole ratios of the reactants, which are P4 and Cl2. Then mole of excess reagent to amount of excess reagent, that is being reacted, giving you 7.28 gram reacted P4. Finally, we can now compute excess reagent remained or unreacted by subtracting mass of P4, which is 25 gram P4, to mass P4, which is the reacted, which is 7.28 gram P4, and we get 17.72 gram unreacted or remained P4. For letter D, if 27 grams of PCl3 is obtained, calculate the percent yield. In calculating percent yield, we simply divide actual yield and theoretical yield multiplied by 100%. Substituting the values, we have 27 gram PCl3 divided by 32.16 gram PCl3 multiplied by 100% will give you 83.96%. It's time to do your task. The complete combustion of methane is represented by the equation 1 mole CH4 plus 2 moles O2 yields 1 mole CO2 plus 2 moles H2O. If 50 gram CH4 with a molar mass of 16 gram per mole is chemically reacted with 50 gram O2 with a molar mass of 32 gram per mole, which is the limiting and excess reagent. B. Calculate the number of grams CO2 that could be produced. C. Calculate the number of grams of the excess reagent that will remain. And letter D. If 25 grams of CO2 is obtained, calculate the percent yield. Good luck! I just do hope that you have learned a lot from this video lesson. Goodbye everyone!